to my kitchen. I'm Ilona Deakin, and today I'm going to show you how to create this lovely white orchid, a very exotic flower representing luxury, beauty, and strength. So let's get started. Okay, so here is really what we will need. Uh, we have our gum base, nicely wrapped um, cutters, orchid cutters. Sometimes the back petals come in one piece, but um, I will be using separate separate one for each petal, just for easier handling, I'll show you later. Um, then I have here uh, is uh, petal veners. So these are specifically for orchids, but um, you could get away with a large a large petal veener for these, but these are just perfect. And um, then we have a rolling mat, um, rolling pin. We'll very much need our um, soft uh, mat, sponge mat, and uh, sort of for drying, drying our petals. Next, we will need um, we will need a plastic sheet to pull off your um, petals under. Very handy uh, thing to have. Um, a little edible glue, um, a vegetable shortening. That's very good to keep your um, gum paste liable. Bit of water, tiny bit of water. Um, wires, 24 gauge wire wires. Um, at the end, you will need a little floor floor of tape. Um, and then we have our um, wire tools, wire cutter, and a little tool, tool, and then you know, shape the wire. Um, ball tool, um, exacto knife or a knife. Uh, I found this wheel wheel cutter useful as well. And little little brush. Don't need to remember all this. I'm going to put on this for you in the description. We're going to roll out our gum paste. I just have to get up to have a bit more strength, more force. Roll it out nice and thin, but not too thin for orchid petals. Bear in mind, um, it's we need to have a little bit of um, a thicker part to where the wire is going to go. So um, for the middle part, if you try to keep it a little bit thicker. Then we can roll out the edges more. Okay, that's quite good. Wheel cutter comes in handy. Right now, I get my wires. Three. Dip them in a bit of glue. This is when I like to use my bit of paper, kitchen paper, just so I wipe up the glue a little bit. You don't want too much at all. I like to go right to the edge and with a sort of twisting motion, 
feathering the wire in and I like to feel it here um, my thumb finger on top to feel it as it's coming in so I don't, I don't go um, so we don't pierce it you'll see with practice where is the right sort of uh, the right way of doing it so we uh, sort of pinch it in to seal it a bit next go again twist and push very gently and slowly to about one third maybe not even one third and then pinch it again lovely Last. Try not to get distracted with the phone. It's buzzing. Next. And if you feel it needs a little bit more smoothly around the edge, and I use a Find a ball tool. There we go. Then we're going to use the beamer. Make sure you know how it goes on top. That's it. Go on top. And now it's important just to squeeze the top part, not all the way to the wire. Probably can't see that very well, but yeah, it's about right. And actually, you do have a lovely little shape there. Oh, okay, see? There we go. A lovely bean in there. I have to pinch it a little bit to uh, tip to make it realistic a little more. Right, and we put it on our drying mat. And these go sort of a bit more open, as you can see here. These three at the back, they're uh, going a little bit more open. So, so outwards, so dry them outwards a little bit. Next one, make space. How was it? Was yep. Pinch. Bring it a bit too high. Yeah. Two. So quite delicate. So don't rush it. Rushing crazy mistakes. From my experience, here we go. Okay. Lovely.
bit. Slightly fiddly little bit. So I actually use the ball pull tool. Ball tool. There you go. Just smooth out the edges. I want this one to be cupped later. Nice and thin. Top bit. Leave the middle bit so it's nice and thick. So that's what we will need. in between to make a little snake tongue so I'd say and there you go I'm going to bend we're going to bend this it looks like that then we're going to prepare our wire use our wire tool so we need to bend the very end of the wire all the way, pretty much, squeeze it a bit and then bend it backwards a bit as well. As that's the way our flower will let lay on top like this. Right. Squeeze it maybe a little bit more. That's it. And dip it in a little bit of glue. Only a little bit is needed. Then pop it in between your fingers so we can slide the wire through. There you go. Tricky part, right? Keeping it upwards. Hard to see, right? There he is. Oh, there it is. There we go. Hopefully, it will. There we go. Oh. Here's our wire, okay, and pop it straight onto your mat. In the deep bit, roll your tongue upwards and cup your the side petals. Up the ears. I'm going to fiddle with the tool a little bit. So the middle bit's going to be up as well. That's it. Cup, cup, cup. Okay, next, going to need a little, little piece of gum paste, just roll it up and make a, like a grain shape. Okay, so we'll make a little ridge in the middle. wheat grain. Okay, and then a little bit of glue again. I'll make sure there is a glue on already. Pop it on top of the wire. There we are. Squeeze. Nicely glued. Here we go. 
Okay. Ah, focus finally. Lovely. Um, now we're going to let our petals dry completely. So the handling is as easy and neat as possible. Okay. Okay, so here's our dried petals and we can start assembling our flowers, just the middle bit. Make sure it's pretty much completely dry. We just need to adapt our wires as the, these petals are sitting more to the side. That's one. That's two. Lovely. Anything like this. And then the bottom two petals are bent right down. There you go. That's it. Okay, so now we can start. Attach the lay down. Go. A little bit of support there. Lovely. Grab a bit of tape. So attach, wrap and attach. Do like a one turn around about once and then slide it up. Maybe pull maybe pull the wires a bit if you need to. Get it tight, but just be very gentle. Just wrap the tape around the neck. Okay. Slide up again a little bit more. And now start diagonally wrapping around towards the bottom. To spin a little bit, yeah, but it will it will come to place once it's all once the wires are ripped up. Okay, just touch the back three on the top, bend a little bit to the side. I'm just going to grab another piece of tape. Just adjust the wires so that the back one is laying directly underneath the middle bit. Alright. Do the same, wrap a bit of tape around. Don't worry about adjusting the petals as yet too much. Wrap a bit and slide up. And you can start adjusting the individual petals using the wires. Where's that one? There. Okay. And then start wrapping. Just make sure it's tight at the top. Still moving because not all wires are ripped up. Okay, just gonna do a little adjusting. So these two big ones go over three smaller petals. Make sure they are. There we go. Okay, and here's your flower. Now I'm going to take a bigger piece of tape and wrap again from top to bottom. Okay. 
this time diagonally. It's harder to slide now because we already have the sticky tape on. So, it's a bit more tricky. your wire backwards a bit as that's actually how um, how orchid grows and you can't, you can't see the stem coming out of the flower because it sort of goes upwards hanging on to the um, and also you can add a bit of a um, bit of a petal dust petal luster dust if you would like to add a bit of a shimmer to your flower and you can do that as well. 